Hi Pisces, welcome back to Clear Compassion. This is Deirdre. Thank you so much for joining the channel today. I am here with Spirit, as always, to bring you love, light, and clarity from the divine. So please take the messages that are meant for your highest good and leave the rest. All right. So to be honest, I can't decide what to do today as far as the cards. So we're going to dabble into a few things. We're going to start out with a specific message. All right, let's see what's going on here in Pisces world. Am I clear on what my soul really wants? Okay, so this is taking out the shoulds and the limitations and putting yourself in a position of really looking at what you want to do, right? And it's about getting out of your own head and paying attention to your heart's desires instead. So if you knew it was impossible to fail, would you do something about it, right? Um, because that's where our fear comes in. So whenever or wherever you go in your head space, right? Go out of that and into your heart and ask yourself what it is, what your soul really wants. What does your heart crave? Thank you so much, Kiwi, for coming in and clarifying that for us. All right, let's go ahead into the soul now. Let's see what's happening here. Thank you, Spirit, for showing us what it is we're looking for. Wow, funny. Have the courage to be free, all right? So this coincides with what we're talking about here, being clear on what you really desire in your soul in your heart, because this is going to be long-term. And there's something here about knowing that freedom begins where the desire ends, right? Because you can have a desire to do something, but if you don't take action, if you're not courageous enough, be brave enough to move forward on that, then nothing takes place. So have that courage. Thank you so much, angels. All right, let's see what's next. Um, you know what, we're gonna go here. Yes, I feel this one next. All right. I hope everybody is getting ready for a big 4th of July weekend, whether you celebrate it or not. All right, try to enjoy yourself. Be prepared for the emotions that are going to be flooding you because clarity is coming in. I feel it. All right, angels, ancestors, and higher beings, what messages do you have for Pisces today? Goddess of dreams, this is it. Vision, intuition, and receptivity. So here we are, we're moving along, we're deciding on what we want, we're going to be courageous enough to move forward on that, and we're going to look at our vision, all right? So this is about looking at the moon and intuitively thriving, okay? Sparks of inspiration. So there's this letting go, but then there's this knowingness of heightened, extraordinary, extraordinary outcomes, okay? So for many of you, right, it is about taking your thoughts and aligning them with your heart's desire. All right, let's keep going. Yes, Archangel Raziel, wisdom, inspiration, and the Akashic Records. So the Akashic Records are here to let you know that this is a karmic cycle. And something is moving in the direction of what you need, right? This is a 10. So there is an ending and a beginning happening, okay? And this is coming in because there's valuable guidance in what you're seeking. And it's opening up the heavens. Do you see the direction that this is going, right? To make an important decision. So it's you actually deciding not just what it is, but then deciding to take action and into a new direction for yourself. So prepare yourself for an eye-opening, life-changing situation. Oh, look at this, another archangel, hope, optimism, and new beginnings. Again, it keeps on clarifying. So I feel like something is definitely going to be shifting in your favor. And I like this so very much for you because... What's happening here is that this hope and happiness is on the horizon for you, right? And Archangel Fanuel is like, he reminds us to stay in a peaceful state. That means trusting and, and, and how can I say this? When you're trusting in something, right, you're staying in a present um, well-being set. 
And this means that you are able to notice things. And this attitude is allowing you to connect with the awesome potential. And I think I'm going to change that word of potential to outcome. Because potential always has a tendency to say, well, this could happen. This might happen, right? And now you're deciding, no, I am going to make this happen. I am going to pronunciate what it is that I truly desire, and I'm going to take action towards that. Yes, currents of emotions. Okay, so emotionally, this comes in two waves. One, the striking down of the lightning bolt, which is telling me that it's, it's going to be just like that, um, that moment of aha, okay? And, and this is where that clarity, see, you're taking this dusty, winds of if you look at this background here you see the sky is opening up this lightning bolt is going to bring this wide open for you for a clearer day and all of this turbulent water here this is that's rushing through like the emotions that we go through during our full moon phase and what you're going to do is ride out that wave so to speak right honor your feelings and notice are these thoughts um good for you right are you taking your emotions and and identifying them but not using them to put you in a further state of turbulence you're you're saying to yourself no there are clearer days ahead of me and that is what i'm focusing on and look at that this is where you get your freedom Okay, so here we have having the courage to be free and then you being this bird flying the coop because you see, you could see all along through this bars of uh, the cage that's made up here, right? And you knew all along that you needed to set yourself free. So you're moving on now and you're letting go, letting go of whatever. It could just be personal thought patterns, right? Of being in your own head. It also could be things that you need to change in your environment and also the way that you're doing things physically taking very well care of yourself okay freedom is is like i'm getting out i'm getting out i'm releasing myself from either a job a relationship a situation right but you're consciously aware now of your abilities to move on and your heart wants to let go so this clarity is coming in for you and what you decide to do with it is for you to excuse me kiwi Okay. Kiwi saying, yeah, stop sitting on your idea and take action. <laughs> Thanks, Kiwi. All right. Archangel Raguel. Ooh, my God, you're getting all the major angels here. This is justice, harmony, and solutions. You see, when you set yourself free, you're finding that you are more resourceful than you thought you were, right? Or not that you didn't think you were resourceful, but you like put everything on the back burner. And so Archangel Raguel is coming in here and he's helping you A, mend fences, right? He's um, looking at where there's unreasonable matters that are coming into balance, okay? And or to a close, for instance, if there's personal situations that you're facing right now or in the upcoming days, you're going to find a way to peacefully find a solution for all that are involved, Okay, and again, you honor yourself. You're not there to teach somebody else how they should feel and that your point is the right direction for all, right? It is that recognizing we all have opinions, we all have a way of thinking, we all have a way of living, but finding a peaceful balance in that brings the justice to the situation. Yeah, be the teacher, right? Be the teacher, for goodness sakes. I love this. There's a song out there by um, Zach Williams, and it's called Less Like Me, all right? And it talks about um, having a little more mercy and a little more grace, right? Kindness, goodness, love, and faith. And for some odd reason, I'm hearing this, that it's kind of important, Pisces, because we've been all about working on ourselves and trying to get things taken care of. And then we seem to have gotten so absorbed in trying to correct things or make changes that we want to find the patience and a little bit more peace, right? So we're a little bit more like Jesus and then a less like me, a less like yourself, because 
they want you to ask, is there somebody else that you could help or somebody that you didn't help, right? Because there's something about um, if, if you were the Lord, you would help everyone. Thank you so much, Kiwi. I really appreciate you coming in on the reading today, okay? But um, I'm not here to preach for you on what direction you need to take. I'm just letting you know that sometimes we have to step back a little bit and just watch, watch others and listen and see if there is something that you can do that you can help another person, okay? Show a little bit more love and compassion. All right, um, you know what? Enough of that. Now we're gonna go into, I wanna do these angels. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Kiwi, do you mind getting off the board? No? Come on, pretty please. Pretty please, thank you so much, I love you. All right, so back to our reading here with the angels. Let's see what else we can do, right? To relax in our own mind because I'm feeling jumbled thoughts, right? But that comes with the emotions. All right, spirit, angels, ancestors, and higher beings. What beautiful messages do you have for Pisces today? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Signs and reminders. This is interesting. Um, I was just on my way back from one location to the other, and I was thinking about my dad. Um, he passed away eight years ago yesterday. And um, I was at a red light, and I look up, and the license plate in front of me said, Dad. And I was like, how beautiful is that? He's letting me know. I got your message, Deirdre. Thank you so much for the shout out, right? So here spirit is saying to you signs and reminders, look for them, but it's not like you're trying to um, find them to, to like um, validate that you're getting the signs. It's about just being open. Oh my gosh, Kiwi, I need you to stop, hon. Really? Okay, thanks. <laughs> She's feisty today. All right, so these signs and reminders, okay? I appreciate your patience, by the way, Pisces. Um, this is about messages of support that become visible. And I talk about this a lot, right? Uh, it can be license plate, it could be billboards, it could be a road sign, it could be on your clock. It's uh, somebody walks by and says something and you're not even involved in their conversation, but you connect with it, right? It's that kind of sign or synchronicity and those little reminders are confirmation that you're on the right path and that you're never alone. I love that. All right, can we continue? All right. One more here. Learning um, an experience here, okay? Now here we're talking about the light. This also reminds me of the Hierophant card because as we're learning, we are using the time uh, spent on ourself to shine light on a situation. And this is doing the inner work. This is acknowledging the lesson from past hardships, okay? So the worst is over. We all know that. You see this in your own life right now, right? That nothing is more turbulent than it was before. And so because you still have a little of that residue on you, you know, when something happens, you're like, oh no, please tell me I'm not going backwards, right? And spirit is like, no, 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 the worst is over. And there is going to be a silver lining revealed to you in the coming days. So it's going to make sense. And I like that too, all right? And self-acceptance. Yes, as always, Pisces, love yourself, be kind to yourself, regardless of any situations you may coming, um, coming into, such as social engagements, right? It's like, stand tall, stand in your beautiful presence, and know that you're not going to back down to um, who you are to fit in with the crowd anymore. That's what I'm hearing, right? You either like me or you don't. I have something I can share with you if you're open to it, but if you're not, right, I'm still going to remain who I am. And this self-acceptance is a really big, important part as you're moving forward because you have to show people, right, do you see what I see? And if they don't, then they, you know, their eyes are closed to it. But that doesn't mean that you have to stay there in that energy and keep pushing it along, right? This is about 
fat, uh, being in a fantastic state of I'm okay with myself and that you're making great strides, okay? You're healing, you're releasing old habits and all things that once held you back. And the spirit world is connecting with you on a higher level so that you can continue to do so. Let's do three more of these. Yes, compassion. Always, always try to find, excuse me, always try to find compassion within yourself so that you can exude that energy towards others, right? And in that relationship, then there becomes a beautiful exchange. Um, there's like, why do you feel the need to prove your point is always on this card? But it's like, I don't anymore because I'm balancing. I'm understanding that I may not um, always see and appreciate something that somebody else is bringing to me, but I will digest it. I will recall it later and I will understand if it's something that is mirrored in myself and how I can change and grow from that. Okay, because we all make mistakes and we spend our time, you know, uh, even jokingly, right? But we have to consider the effects to be loving towards others as well as yourself, okay? Oh, Pisces, look at that. Romance, romance and connection. This is a surprise. This is unexpected, okay? So I definitely want you to leave your comments Um and let me know if this happens to you over the weekend or in the next coming weeks, right? That um, out of the blue, I'm feeling this, out of the blue, you're going to make a connection with somebody. I, I, I don't know why, I just, I, <laughs> I'm tongue tied. So that's telling me, yes, right? It's like that butterfly feeling and it's telling me that, um, there's like you look into each other's eyes and you're like mesmerized by one another. So whether that's happened already or it's coming towards you and I just feel like it's something in the near future, okay? And I like it because this is where the angels sprinkle love dust, right? This is where Cupid comes in and when Cupid is involved, um, his arrow, right, that is... I don't know if you know the story behind it, but it's not just the, the love struck arrow, but it's undeniable. It's, it's a transient um, state of, of being where you, you can't even understand it, but you know this person from either a past life, okay? But you connect. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, and here we go, guardian angel. Oh, yes. Pay heed to your guardian angels because they are always with you and always watching out for you. So whenever you need, they are there in a split second, okay? So keep this in mind to always appreciate, show that gratitude because the guardian angel is your invisible best friend, right? This is the true companion because your guardian angel is here to watch you on earth fulfill your destiny and your mission. And even though our free will, you know, we take ourselves off course every once in a blue moon, we have to realign that. And the guardian angel, you can ask for assistance in this, okay? But it's always guiding, loving, supporting, and congratulating you. Look at her hands. She's like, you did this. Pisces, you did this. I love this for you. Take time in your daily activities even before bed, in the morning, whatever. Thank you, guardian angel, for being by my side and watching over and protecting me and showing me and guiding me the, through this way, okay? It's really important. Give thanks and receive the help. All right. Um, you know what? Let's go to Archangel Michael next. I hope you guys don't mind. We're doing a variety. This is like the Friday buffet. Okay. Archangel Michael, what advice do you have? What is the guidance? For Pisces today. Thank you so much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know what I want. This one. Ha! <laughs> Change is coming. Yes, I am here to guide you through the exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous opportunity. Do you see this? Opportunity. I love all of the colors, all of the butterflies. Definitely new growth new transformation okay you're beautiful i swear archangel michael i love you so much all right um we're gonna do 
the Moonology card to close off. I don't want to keep you, Pisces. I love that you're sharing, subscribing, and leaving your comments. I love hearing your stories, and I love when you articulate the story as well. Um, I'm not a big fan of emojis because they can be interpreted just like an email, right? I don't want to interpret it the wrong way, and I like when people use their words. All right, so what's coming up for our moon phase? Thank you so much, Spirit. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Yes, the end of a tough cycle approaches. So whatever these current emotions are and this turbulent water that you see here, okay, it's, it's ending. It has no choice but to end. And why? Because Archangel Raziel is here with the 10, which is telling me it can't go, right? In tarot, 10 is the highest card. Um, once it reaches a 10, we have to start all over again, which is one, and one is a new beginning. So a new beginning comes with excitement. It comes with joy. But not only that, it's, it's another learning process, okay? So this is really good for you. And next, ah, <laughs> what did we talk about? Did we not talk about the love? Did we not talk about romance and Cupid? And what do you see here? Is this bow and arrow meant for you? Absolutely, all right? So this is not only love, but this is luck. And this is luck being on your side. So Pisces, I'm gonna leave this reading here because this is telling me that there is this shift, this ending, new beginning, love, excitement, freedom. Even though you have freedom right now today, it's a feeling of freedom that's going to take you up higher, okay? The elevator is going to not just the next floor, but to the 10th floor. Okay, thank you so much. Take care, have a beautiful weekend.